reckon, do you know what? I'm going chop chip, I reckon. Chop chip mint or something like that. My favourite ice cream is the soft ice cream that comes out of the, uh, the soft ice cream machine. And of course, it's got to be with a, a 90 a Cadbury's 99 flake. A basic dairy strawberry ice cream. A lot of strawberry ice cream. My favourite uh, ice cream would be, I think, um, like chocolate fudge. I think uh, a good quality chocolate ice cream you can't go, go wrong with. Ooh. Right. Got to make a move and get down the unparked up. No, I'm left school. I was started in the motor industry. Uh, I was working at a main Ford agent in Slough. So I started off, and I was in the motor industry for quite a few years. But, uh, one of my customers was an ice cream van. Just for a laugh, one day I went out with him on the van, and did around with it, and then the uh, the garage I was with folded up. I thought, right, it's an uh, opportunity to try something different. As, uh, as I've been ice cream for about 20 years now. Uh, now the kids pretty much uh, stayed the same over the years. Obviously, I think they got taller. But the uh, the liking for ice creams remained. I think they get a lot of their. Uh, uh, parents like ice cream, don't they? And they like, buy, they like they like to buy their kids ice creams. It's, it's traditional. So it's one of those things. It's, it's enduring, you know, and it's fun to have, you know. Of course, it's coupled with like pocket money to buy it, and it's good fun. It's a treat. I can't see it ever really dying out. It, it might reduce a little bit, but not not by massive amounts. I think it, it, it's like water. It's found its natural level. In this area, uh, as far as I know, I'm the only one. So I've been uh, working around this area for about 20 years and a few have come and gone, but uh, I remain. Uh, uh, and uh, I'd say the, communi the community is, is supporting me anyway, so there must be a need for it. I've got a lot of, re lot of regular customers, but we do a lot of fates uh, and shows and things like that. And there's, there's always a queue. So if you've got sunshine and ice cream van, you know, you're in heaven. Tubs, containers, flakes, everyone has about the flake 99s. Everybody's very, but there are cheaper ones on the market, but they're not as nice, definitely not as nice. Uh, this is a bit salty. Then you've got the bubble gums, you know about bubble gums, don't you? You can eat them or flick them at people. Then you've got your utensils, cones, of course, and the magic machine here with the Harry Potter button on it, which gives us the stripes. Well, kids say, how come you get a plain one and you pull it again and it comes out stripes? I said, well, six years of college, no problem. But it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, it's not a bad place to be, you know, especially when the sun's out. Um, recommended, highly recommended. <laughs> this is my better half, Leslie. Well, Rick had started on an ice cream business and um, I was a customer. And we were both sort of free and we got together and... Thrown um, together by fate. And um, yeah, we finally wound up in Gretna Green getting married, so <laughs> away we went. <laughs> I think in the summertime, you know, when most people are having kind of like barbecues and family weekends and stuff like that, um, sometimes you feel a mm. bit sort of, you know, you'd like to be out there doing, doing all of that when you see people enjoying themselves. But, you know, we, we catch up in the winter time, so it's OK, isn't it? But you do get discount on lollies, don't you? Oh, that's true, yeah, I never yeah. thought of that. Mm. I'm actually, I play drums. I've been playing drums for quite a few years. I played in two or three different bands. So I love music anyway. Uh, I do that. And I've also recently taken an interest in geopolitics around the world. Five years ago, I wasn't interested in politics at all. And then a scumbag friend of mine sent me this documentary to, uh, to watch, and it kind of sparked my interest. <laughs> Definitely a change in more recent years. Um, I remember, it was very small at the time, but I remember the days when people didn't necessarily always have a freezer in their house. The big supermarkets didn't carry as much ice cream as what they do now. They definitely didn't carry any brands from the likes of Walls or Nestle, the stick lines. You always had to go to a van or to a shop to get these. So what's happened over the years is, is they're more available in other places. It's taken the novelty 
away from the ice cream van and people don't necessarily have to use them so much anymore. That's ended up with a, a, de a quite a large decrease in the amount of ice cream vans on the road and um, some of them fall into disrepair and they're not as nice as they used to be because mobilers are struggling, it's, it's a hard game. I think it really it's a, a, a two-pronged attack. Um, bureaucracy and it's much more difficult for the ice cream men simply to sell ice cream on the road. And then of course, uh, undoubtedly, um, the growth of the supermarkets. The growth of the supermarkets have meant that uh, ice cream is much more readily available, much more uh, cheap, cheap um, to the end user. Uh, but unfortunately this will often be reflected in the quality as well. The way I've managed to try and combat that is by diversification. Um, I now make up a lot of ice creams which are, you know, they're, they're, they're my own creations. You can't go and get it from the freezer that your mum's bought from Iceland. Um, it's various sauces and toppings and sundaes and creations that you can come up with if you're imaginative and you've got a good sense of creation you can do these things and it means that your customers are coming to you for something that they can only get from you and that's my way of fighting back to the big boys they've sold their soul out they now supply to the supermarkets and the shops and they've sort of they've not, not so much ruined it for us but they've definitely cut our market away down from selling wrapped impulse products etc. So we distribute through uh, to wholesalers due to the Monopolies Commission where we're not allowed to sell direct to uh, the average customer on the street. It's, not, it's unfair to them that they can't, that they feel they can't come to us because obviously everyone knows the Wolves brand and they can't come to us and they feel that we're doing them a disservice um, and they have to buy through a wholesaler and it's unfair for us as well um, because we can't then help that customer as much as we'd like to. You haven't got that, that personal touch, it's not tangible. The poor old ice cream van man um, is under a lot of competition. Plus his costs are going up because uh, local authorities charge them a licence fee which is uh, there's a big discussion on about at the moment about that. And in some areas it's very expensive to run a mobile van. Face to face, and still didn't get anywhere. I need to keep chasing it, because I mean, just to hand over that sort of money every year is completely out of the question. It will put me out of business, literally. With Wokenham District Council, uh, they suddenly imposed this fee uh, in 2006. They went from nothing to £2,000. And I asked them then, you know, how could they justify that sort of fee, and what was it for? What was the money being used for? Because they're not allowed to actually make a profit on licensing fees. Like, with, like a taxi license last year was still only £315. Of course, they can work all year round. But say for the last six years, I've re asked them repeatedly how they can justify it and asked them to actually account for the money. And they've refused every single time. Um, so it, 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 most of the councils I've contacted uh, 28 different councils up and down the country, just for a comparison. Uh, and a third of those didn't charge anything at all, uh, and a third charged less than 250, which is kind of reasonable when you compare it to a taxi licence. But then as soon as you hit Berkshire, it jumps up into the thousands. But controversially, I, I, my licence actually ran out in June of last year, and I've been waiting for them to take me to court, but I haven't surfaced at all. So, you know, something's not right there, you know, to paraphrase Shakespeare, something smells in the borough of Wokingham. So you get the, the adults come out you know, and they, they're there just to pay for it. But uh, no, the kids are the, are the main thing, yeah, yeah. And I think with parents, when they've got the kids anyway, it's a heart back to their, their childhood. And they like to introduce you know, the kids to ice cream, which is lovely. Tony Bell coming around my estate in London, running out, getting 20p off my dad, shows how old I am, going to get a, a little thing with a bubble, a bubble gum in the bottom or something like that, yeah, or the 99 flake, yeah. It was a Bedford van that used to come around, the Star Dairies, and it said made with real eggs on it. And um, we used to go out and get a half crown's worth of uh, 
scooped ice cream in a bowl and it's got a sundae, so that was our dessert on a sundae. All jobs bring pressures, don't they? But mostly, yeah, we, we sort of work as a team very much so. We rub along okay, don't we? We get there. Hmm. Can I phrase that better, though, yeah? He was always round every week. Um, I used to run out down the close and, and get my favourite 99 all with my sisters and yeah it was always good. I think the kids still want to come out when they hear the music and they want to run out and get their favourite ice cream. What's that? How much it is? Bargain. Delivered to your door. Thank you very much indeed. It's always been this type of ice cream. Um, we used to sometimes get it in a bowl. You could take a bowl up and they'd fill up. And so Sundays were with apple crumble or apple pie, to go and get a bowl of Mr. Whoopi ice cream was quite a treat. It's a tradition that's been around for a long time now, and I'm just helping to keep it going. There always has to be room for the small guy, otherwise it becomes a monopoly for the big guys. And we've seen that with the supermarkets, you know. Every shop has its place, but there needs to be a balance. On a good day, obviously you get a lot of feedback from your customers. And so they're always happy to see you anyway. So it's, it is, you get a lot of feel good factor from it as well, apart from being able to pay your bills, obviously, which we all have to do. I mean, if you're a people person, you're a natural. I mean, the, the kids respond to you anyway, and the parents do as well, you know, and it's just, just chatting to people. And if, and if you're relaxed, they respond to that, you know, because you're there to make them happier, really. Who doesn't like an ice cream?